The first week that we brought her home, uh, we noticed that she had like a wheezing issue. And then we took her to the doctor because she was throwing up a lot. They tested her for parvo and she tested positive. Um, I found Bear on the internet when we did a search for um, puppies. Has he had any health issues? Yes, Giardia, and he had to be on medication twice. I did purchase a puppy and he had medical issues. Yeah, puppy strangle and Giardia. Giardia was, um, was about a month. Our vet recommended, you know, an emergency care visit, you know, immediately. At that point, we didn't think that she was going to make it. And what was the name of the place that you purchased him from? Puppy Heaven. Puppy Heaven. Puppy Heaven. They had a website and there was a Shih Tzu on there for sale. And then they FaceTimed us with the dog. You pay for it in advance. And I picked them up in LA in a parking lot. We had no idea. You know, we thought, you know, when I was scheduling this appointment to go in and see the puppy, uh, that I was gonna be going to either a home or a, a storefront. And it was in a parking lot of a vape shop. I originally thought it was their store, so when I drove in, I called them, I said, I'm here. They're like, oh, he's driving up in a, in a black SUV. It was, you know, some van that showed up. With a whole bunch of puppies. And there's other people in the parking lot, and he goes one by one and drops them off. Then it felt like I was doing a drug deal or something. You're picking up the puppy where we have um, the pickup location for all of the puppies. Yeah, but is it like a like another like a, vet, a veterinarian's office? Or like... No, sir. You are picking up your puppy in just a remote location where everybody else is picking up their puppies as well. Oh, okay. yeah. I, I was just I just was just wondering where that would be. So it seems like so what's I'm, the I'm remote location? It's a remote location. It's a meetup location. Yeah, okay, just like a parking lot in some complex or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you don't give I out. I misled you, I promise you. Okay, but you don't give out any breeder names. Of course not. Okay. She didn't have information about where the breeders are from anywhere in the store and then refused to give it to us when we asked. Can you say who, you know, who the breeder is or where they're located or something just so I have some peace of mind? I'm telling you, they're all from here, from California. Well, just like the name and the city where they're located. His name is Mike, so what it will help you now? Mike, is it what city or something? Can you, you share with me? No. They said they got them, the puppies, every time from reputable breeders, the same reputable breeders. From the time that we first found out she had parvo, uh, we knew that, that she had a warranty on her. So we contacted uh, Puppy Heaven. You know, they, they gave us two options. They said we can either bring her back and get a new puppy, 
um, or we could bring her back to them and have her treated by their vet. They kept her for about 10 days, um, but then we took her back to our own vet. And they said that she was still testing positive for Parvo uh, and that she still had Giardia and she had really, really bad fleas. How much would you say you've spent in vet bills? Probably about six or seven hundred dollars. Did Puppy Heaven reimburse any of that? They did not. I originally thought he was a Shih Tzu. I was told he was a teacup Shih Tzu. And after a few months, his energy level was just out of this world. He started jumping and then chewing everything up and his legs started growing. They informed me that he was a toy Pomeranian and that he wouldn't get bigger than like about eight pounds. And so far he's up to 18 pounds. And I did a DNA test on him. He's 65% Shih Tzu. Uh, Cocker Spaniel and Chihuahua. You know, we paid almost $3,000 for a full bred puppy, and when the DNA test results came back, she was only 75% Shih Tzu. You know, our whole goal was to have a little friend. You know, this, a little dog to, for her to be in the room with or to spend the day with. Not so much the bigger dog as you can see, he's very active. I go to work, I wanted a dog that was not gonna chew my floor. <laughs> 